and welcome to MJ TV. My name is Matthew James. I'm renowned international medium and clairvoyant. And I want to talk about a few things tonight that are a little bit different from my last video. First thing, you'll notice that I've got a microphone. Um, there was a technical issue with the last recording. Um, people couldn't hear me properly. So I thought I'd put one of these dumbfounded silly things around my neck because people who've seen me live they know I do not like these microphones. Um, I have an issue with them and so if I look like, stiff like a brick with, with one of these things around me just forgive me I'm just not comfortable with a microphone. Anyway that's beside the point. I want to talk about a thing tonight. Um, I was going to do Mystic Switchboard. I was going to deliver some... Uh, oh, I was told off about that as well, rocking on my chair. I've got a habit of rocking on the chair and I'm going to knock the screen over as well. So you can have your laugh now if the screen falls over. Um, anyway, I was going to talk about Mystic Switchboard. Um, I was going to deliver some messages, but um, no, inspirationally today, I thought I was going to talk about something completely different. It's basically making a fool of myself. No, it's saying it as it is, um, which really is um, connected to how messages are delivered from the spirit world to the earth plane. Um, it's really crucial that as a medium, as a clairvoyant, as a psychic, that you deliver the message that you are given. Um, not the message you think you hear, not the message that you think you need to give, um, you got to sort the things like I don't have enough courage or I don't have enough confidence to deliver the message. You've got a duty as the medium, as the communicator, to um, give the energy, the vibration, the message that you've received to the person that the member of spirit wants you to as they've given it. Um, I know that um, a number of members of spirit have been a little bit pissed off over the years where I've not given the message that I'm supposed to give. I know how much effort that they actually uh, use to make that message so the least thing least we can do as a medium, as a communicator, is give that message no matter how embarrassing it is for you as a communicator, no matter how much you go bright red in front of an audience no matter how you f seem to fall flat on your face because the recipient can't take the message it is your responsibility in that role to give that message um, it could just be that the person's not wanting to take that message because maybe you put them on the spot uh, in front of an audience and maybe 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 they didn't want to take it and they would probably come to you at the end of the show and say yeah I could take that message but there was such and such a body in the audience who I really didn't want them to know about that information. So, yeah, the simple, simple message in this um, in this broadcast is to say it as it is, um, because there are a lot of psychics out there, a lot of mediums, a lot of clairvoyants out there who give these garbled messages, who give these messages that really is not doing our industry much credit because they seem to be disjointed, they seem to be a little bit, yeah, could be could fit anybody in the audience. What the spirit world is trying to do, particularly in this day and age, is give the really blunt, explicit message for somebody of their family who is in front of them that you as the medium couldn't possibly know. Um, that it, is, it gives absolute proof that you've got a father or you've got a grandfather. Now this can be a family secret, asked Christine, my wife, about that when I got her, her mother through. Um, I gave her some information that um, I couldn't possibly have known, I couldn't have possibly guessed in a million years, and it proved to Chris that her mum was there. Um, it could be, uh, as an example, many, many, many years ago, uh, I got a rather foul mouth grandfather through in front of uh, an audience in a spiritualist church, and he used the shit words, the F words, the wanker words, you name it, he used it. And he expected me to um, risk life and limb in front of the president of the area, um, giving this message that I now gave rather horrified looks. I got me banned, but at least the, um, the grandfather's next of kin who took the message, I think it was probably 
his niece. No, it wasn't his niece, it was his granddaughter, sorry. It was his granddaughter who took the message. She said, well, if you hadn't sworn, and you hadn't used the inflections, and you hadn't used the tone of voice that my grandfather used, um, I even you even sort of strung a sentence together like he did with the F's and W words, there's no way it could have been my grandfather if you hadn't worked like that. If you used golly goshies and you'd given me red roses as flowers from him, I wouldn't have accepted the message. So, um, yeah, I risked life and limb. I got myself banned in a spiritualist church for pulling this grandfather through, but I think it was worth it because I gave absolute proof. Another example of giving absolute proof uh, in front of an audience, embarrassing yourself, um, saying it as it, it, as it is, uh, was at a recent Four Mediums show where um, yeah, I delivered the message that I put on the uh, Matthew James Medium um, YouTube channel as the man with a limp. I initially delivered the message that he had a limp with his leg, which he did. And when his daughter was able to confirm that it was her father, I then came to the part of the message that he meant me to give. The limp was the fact that he'd got a groin area problem. He was impotent. Um, when I mentioned that to uh, his daughter, the audience roared with laughter. I went bright red. Um, but the daughter and the family said, oh, yeah, yeah, we know about that. He talked about it all the time. And I was able to validate that the father was there. Um, and I gave this proof that I couldn't possibly have known. This is what I'm basically on about, about mediums out there, clairvoyants out there, psychics. No matter how embarrassed you feel, give the message you've got, please, for heaven's sake. The spirit will try so friggin' hard to come through that you should give the message that you get. Don't embellish it. Don't change it. Don't think this is what they're saying. First instinct, first message that you get, when you get it from them, give it. Give it as it is. Yeah, it embarrasses you, but hey, so so what? That's your job. It's part and parcel of your job. That's the nature of your job. You're in front of an audience. It's your role. It's tough. You've got to do it. So that's my lecture over. Um, I'm back off my high horse now. My apologies for all the nasty swear words, the F words, etc, etc, but tough. My video, I'm going to say it as it is. Um, now I'm going to sign off, because I'm noticing the time, I'm running out of time. You'll notice um, that I've got MatthewJamesMedium.com, I've missed the www out, but that's my website. You can contact me on Facebook. Um, it's www.facebook.com dash mj mj medium uh, my email address is matthew james medium at gmail.com so i'm going to sign out for tonight um the very next one i'm going to be doing is going to be the mystic switchboard which will be interesting because i'm going to try and deliver some messages to people okay bye for now